Welcome back, everyone, to another presentation up to the time. Today, we are going to be answering the CSC question. What I'm going to do is read the CSC question first, and then I'm going to give a brief definition of polygon. So let's have a look at the question. Figure one shows an irregular polygon A, B, C, D, E, with B, C equal 40 mil, A, E equals 60 mil, CD equals 75 mil, and ED equals 45 mil. Construct the given irregular polygon, a similar figure with its base AB increased from 50 mil to 70 mil. Okay. So what are polygons to start off? A polygon is a closed shape figure that has a minimum of three sides and three vertices. The term poly means many, and gon means angle. Thus, polygons have many angles. The perimeter and area of polygon depends upon its type. The classification of polygons is described based on the number of sides and vertices. Now, what we are going to be creating is an irregular polygon which means that the angles aren't the same and the sides are not the same, right? And this polygon here has one, two, three, four, five sides. So how are we going to create this shape? And then how are we going to increase it from 50 to 70? What's the strategy? The first thing I'm going to do is bring up my annotation and let's, let's look at this image here. So the first thing is we draw this shape. So imagine that we've drawn the shape. That's the first thing. The shape is at 50 mil. We need to increase this from 50 to 70. So this is where we're going to create construction line here. And we're going to create seven divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this would be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this would be the seventh one. Seven divisions. These have to be equally divided. Then from the seventh one, we want to come to the fifth division because the shape is at 50. So the fifth division will represent 50. The seventh division represents 70. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth division. We will connect that to B. All right. And then we will track the distance, parallel track the distance. And wherever that distance occurs, and we pull it here at seven, that would be the place where our new B would be, which is called B prime. So B prime would be right here. So we'll call that B prime. And this would be R point seven. And this would be R point five. So that's, in, that's what we do. Then we would take a line, a point from A and draw a line through C. I'm going to draw this in a different color so it's not uh, it's a construction line and a construction line goes through D and obviously this construction line also goes through E. From here, at this point, we're going to parallel track this line CD over to here. And then we're going to parallel track this line DC. Over to here. Then we do the same thing from DE. And that there is how you will create the increased shape.
and the outer lines will be the increased version of the shape. Now, without any further ado, let me clear the join and let us get to work on that. So alpha line, and I'm just going to create AB, the baseline, which we know is going to be 50. Just put here, let me put here MT to bring up my text menu. Call that A. And then just draw a line here. Then I'm going to offset this line 50 to the right. And I'm going to call that point B. Copy over A and edit it, change it to, to B. Now, what's the, say, what's the distance between B to C? Do they give us that distance? B to C is 40 mil, and it's going in a 90 degrees direction. So I can offset this up 40 mil. Next thing. That's good. Trim. And that point here would be called point C. Cool. Now let's insert A to E. That also, they give us an angle. It's 135 degrees. And also the distance between A to E. Do they give us that? Yes, that is 60 mil. Can move that a alpha line. Then to put in the angle, I'm going to press shift and the less than symbol. And I'm going to type 135. That's my angle. And look, it's right there. And now I'm going to hit C for circle. And I'm going to create a distance of 60 mil. All right. So that's where I know where E ends, right here. Put E. So remove the circle. No, let me just trim the point. Can remove the circle now. Now we need to insert E to D. E to D is 45. Also, we need to insert C to D. C to D is 75. So we're going to use some circles to insert these last two points. So I'm going to come at C, open up a circle, go into D, and that's going to be 75. Yeah, then I'm going to come to E, open up a circle, go into D, and that's going to be 45. And where these two intersect, that's the point here. This is my point D. You turn on my point expression. That's my point D here. So I'm going to draw a line to connect. All right, so I've gotten the shape onto the screen. And again, for those of you just joining, this is an irregular polygon that I'm creating, and I'm going to be scaling this polygon. The polygon is currently at a scale of five, and I'm going to be increasing this to seven. All right. Remove this point here. So we got our regular polygon on the board. I'm just going to... Change the text, put those into text, sorry, not change the text. Yeah. Put this into outline, because this is a final shape. So this is what we have here. Now, I'm going to divide this into seven pieces. Create a construction line starting at A, and let's project it in a downward direction. Uh, it doesn't have to be any specific length. The length is totally up to you. Use that length there. Now I'm going to divide this line A into seven pieces. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the fifth piece here. I'm going to mark the fifth piece, and I'm going to mark the seventh piece. Seventh division, sorry. Cool. 
I'm also going to move this in a different location so that this doesn't affect us as we are trying to solve the problem. Extend the baseline. No. So the first thing I've done is I've created a new construction line going from A, going all the way down to seven. The A line going down to seven, this could be any random distance. It doesn't have to be any specific line. What needs to be important is that the distance, the divisions need to be equal on this line. So the line could be any length. You just have to have equal divisions. So always remember that. Now, the shape is at 50. So I'm going to connect the shape from 5 to B. And that's the first line. Connecting the shape to what it is. Shape is at 50. Also, at this point, I'm going to put in these construction lines. A going through C. A going through D. The reality is that point A goes through E. There's a line from A going to E. There's a line from A going to D. There's a line from A going to C. And a line from A going to B. So A now has a connecting route to all of these points. This is where now it gets interesting. We are now going to increase the shape. So I'm going to grab this point here, which is point 0.5. To B, and I'm going to copy it. CO for copy, and I'm going to copy this from five all the way down to seven. Then I'm going to extend that to that point there. Now, this has created a new point, and this is called B prime. So I'm going to grab the B here, bring this up closer, and copy it. And then I'm going to call this B prime, which is B apostrophe. Now I'm going to select the line BC and copy it over to the new B prime position. Yeah. And then I'm going to extend C. The line AC to where the new C prime position would be. So this is where the new C prime position would, would fall. I'm going to place C there, copy it over. Then I call that C prime. Now copy the line C to D. Snap it in there. And this over here would be our D prime. I'm going to place that there. But I don't know yet. What I need to do is I need to fill it this line to here. And this is where D prime falls. So that is one thing you always need to do. You need to connect these lines properly so that you actually are able to find where the next point lies. <clears throat> So there's one more point that needs to be inserted. This is the line D to E. We need a D prime line going to E prime. All right. So I'm going to grab this, copy it, snap it in here. Then I'm going to extend this or I can fill it. Yeah. And this tells me where my new E prime point is. So this is my E prime point. And that is my D prime point, right? So we have the new shape, which is now at 70. So now that we've gotten a new shape in, we like the hatch. Okay. That's it. So this problem is now finished. Let's label what we have here. I'm going to dimension this first thing. 
so that if anyone at home wanted to do this, get some dimensions here. So that's 50. That's 60. That's 45. That's 75. And that here is, is 40. So I'm going to dimension two of the increased sides. That's 105. So that 75 goes to 105. And 40 goes to 55. When things are increased. All right. So we have put in some dimensions there. I'm going to put in this angle also, angular, and you come here to there, and that's 135, not bad. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to label the increased shape. Increase shape. 15 mil to 17 mil. Uh-huh. All right. All right. Now this project, this 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 problem is over. So let me just check back and make sure that I've done everything before I finish this, close off this video. It says figure one shows an irregular polygon A, B, C, D, E with B, C, 40 mil, A, E, 16, C, D, 75, and E, D, 45 mil. Construct the given irregular pent polygon. I've done that. A similar figure with its base AB increased from 50 mil to 70 mil. Okay, so I've done that also. Oop, I think this is the proof here. So we have increased AB from 50 to 70. So that's the proof there that all you needed was that one dimension and that would suffice and that would prove to the examiner that everything is done well. I hope everyone understood the demonstration. If not, you can slow down the video, you can rewind it, you can take things slowly. The explanation is all there for you. Practice this. When you're finished, you can even create random polygons and try increasing or try decreasing them. Use your own numbers and practice this until it's part of you, until you know it like the back of your hand. All right. I am out. Lastly, subscribe to the channel.